Cancer, we're getting ready to have a full moon in our sign, in our native sign, Cancer. This is going to happen on December the 26th, 7.33 Eastern Standard Time. You guys, a very healing time, okay? Time to clear out loads of stuck old stagnant energy um emotions okay this energy is really really gonna touch tender tender places in your heart cancer a time of really bringing in um harmony around communication around family around home life um this is a really really good time cancer to dive into your emotions okay you'll be better off because of it you're gonna feel a major weight being lifted it's like you're gonna drop some weight and be able to move into 2024 very freely and that is imperative okay um to start the top of the year kind of in this energy of feeling free okay that weight that literal weight is going to feel monumentous for you cancer so of course i'm here to give you a little more insight about what you need to know about this full moon and cancer welcome or welcome back to the cancerian vibe i am she the boss lady b thank you so so much for joining me you guys anything that you may want to know about me is down in the description box below if you're interested in how I am personally getting ready for the new year 2024, definitely make sure you join me over on my personal channel. I'll um, link it in the description box below in the eye here if I can remember um, and then down in the comment section so that you can um, join me over there. Let's be friends. Let's be besties. Okay. But anywho, you guys, I'm not going to go and do a long, drawn-out um, astrology. I gave you a quick little preview in the intro. We're going to get right into these cards and see what's going on for this full moon in Cancer. For my lovely Cancerians, no matter where you have Cancer in your chart, the readings on this channel can resonate for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for clear, accurate messages for Cancers. What's the energy surrounding Cancer during this full moon? So look, embrace uncertainty. Yeah, look, take a risk, embrace uncertainty. Something could feel very scary. And you could be kind of sitting back and really, really wanting to contemplate the risk around it, um, Cancer. And it's like you may not want to go forward because you're unsure. You don't know. It's like you don't know the outcome. So you don't necessarily want to walk this new path. And look, I love this water because I feel like you're going to have to like walk over or walk through your emotions because your emotions, it could definitely be your emotions, the culprit around why you um, are kind of like feeling away about this risk. But the energy around this full moon is telling you to embrace, embrace the uncertainty, embrace not knowing what the future holds. That's where the magic lies. That's really the excitement, you know, embracing the uncertainty and it's the moonlit energy. So it's not like you're going to stay uncertain forever but definitely um i feel like there's maybe something that you feel like is a little risky that you may want to actually go for like look i feel like look is on your side i don't know why i'm feeling it or seeing that card let's see since this is full moon <clears throat> excuse me full moon in cancer what are our emotions where are in what is our intuition trying to tell us spirit what is Cancer's emotion, intuition trying to and look, intuition showed up. So yeah, there's some things. Synchronicity is um here. I feel like look, it's like um why am I hearing preparation meets it's like opportunity meets preparation, and your intuition is going to lead you through this um through this next moment in your life. I feel like this is a big moment. It says the moon's moment, but I feel like this is a big moment in your life in some type of way, Cancer, right? And that's why you may have been uncertain about it, but your intuition is here to kind of lead you through. Um, and that's why this water is around your intuition, the energy of the moon, moon, maybe it's like, yeah, you're giving somebody, somebody could have asked you something even to like offered you and you're like, mm, maybe, maybe not. It's like, you're, you're thinking about it. You may be even like trying to wait for the right time. Wait for, yeah, I feel like there's time. Is important here to you, Cancer. But your intuition, I feel like your intuition and your emotions, well, your intuition is trying to let you know that it's time, but I feel like your emotions may be trying to like hold you back. So let's see what emotions are no longer serving Cancer. What emotions need to be released 
Uh oh. So look, we got the past showing up. The dark moon energy. So yeah, Cancer, it's time to and see, even in this embrace uncertainty, that's what I told you. Like humans, we're funny like that. Even though we may not be happy in a situation, we will stay there because we and I'm not speaking to you if this on apply to you, but I'm just saying you'll stay there out of um comfort knowing like you know at least i know what's going on here i don't i don't know about over there so sometimes you know there could be fear around trying something new the changes that are happening but spirit is saying like really really let go of the past i feel like too honestly cancer this moon this full moon especially it being in your sign is going to bring up some dark dark emotions and i don't mean dark as in like bad per se but i do definitely feel like these are emotions or things that have been like pushed to the side and maybe even hidden in the dark um you know that you have kind of like maybe forgotten about or not so aware of but there needs to be like a literal it's cleaning out it's giving spring cleaning the past has to go okay and it's like time it's giving death date not that you're about to die but it's like the past is okay and as i say that yeah protection protection tried to come out with this card and take a risk was still here at the bottom so i'm telling you your spirit is saying look your angels got you you're being protected. Whatever risk, whatever you feel like is risky, whatever you feel like you may not have all the ideas about um, or answers or know-how, like everything is going to work out the way that it needs to. And I love that I'm showing abundance as I say that. Okay. But let's see. What magic is in the moon? What magic is the moon har harvesting for cancer? What moon magic can we that has showed up in the um week ahead reading? That's why I asked about it. So look, okay, definitely, y'all, the energy of the past, Cancer. So I definitely see you like being very nostalgic, okay? You could definitely a lot of things from the past. Mercury is still technically in retrograde, so a lot of the past could be relevant this um this week. Going back over the 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 past year, okay? But here it is, shadow work. And that's why I'm telling you it's blessings. It's magic in the shadow work. It's it's magic in you like clearing out some of this dark stuff that may have this nighttime. It's like facing your um dark night of the soul almost. But I'm telling you, it's the things, it's emotions that you may have like put off to the side. They're casting shadows, but no, it's time to clear out the past for sure. You could definitely be having memories, but you see how even here, um, I love that the water is showing up. Cancer. Yeah, something's a mystery to you, but embrace that mystery. Embrace the dark side. Embrace your dark side. It's like your dark side um embrace it like you may have been trying to avoid it you know you can be love and light but you got to embrace your uh you got to embrace your dark side too there may have been some things in the past it's time for that finally to be cleared out it's time for it like anything that was limiting you this could be beliefs whatever that energy is it's being cleared out and i'm telling you like you're gonna literally feel a weight off of your shoulders i feel like this is what this shift is bringing clarify embrace uncertainty for cancer so look conclusions are within reach um full moon eclipse energy showing up too so the eclipse energy um a total kind of transformation here happening conclusions are within reach it's okay like all you have to do is walk across the bridge okay I love that. I'm a my name is Bridget. Okay. If you didn't know my name is Bridget. I'm actually funny thing, I'm actually thinking about if some of y'all knew me from my boss lady B Tarot days, yeah, I still like announce myself as boss lady, but I'm actually thinking about bringing it back under Bridge Tarot for some reasons. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all about it in another way, in another time. But anyway, um <clears throat> embracing this uncertainty, knowing that the conclusion at the end. You're like you're gonna reach that conclusion. And I feel like you're gonna reach the conclusion that you're like you're expecting. You're thinking it's too big of a risk. Yeah, but it's like the synchronicity is giving me like the time is right. Clarify synchronicity for cancer. 
a time for healing. So yeah, a time for healing. Um, a fiery climax approaches, and I feel like that's what's happening this, you know, as we're coming up to the end of the year. And I was even getting ready to kind of speak to this kind of fiery energy showing up um in this card in this moon. Okay. So I do feel like there's some there's some things that could have been, you know, kind of exciting going on around you. Uh, but I feel like this climax is to a cycle for you, all right? Um, this is definitely, I feel like Taurus is coming out of that fire sign too of Aries. So it's like there's there's a climax to that retrograde energy. And it's like now the time is to heal, okay? So where there may have been lack, there's now healing around it. I love this. And it's like, yeah, you can't, Cancer, you can't, um, you can't move forward until you've like face healing the past. I feel like there is something that be, you're finally able to move forward. I know that we've been doing the work. I'm not trying to take that away from you, Cancer, because it definitely shows in the energy of those I've been connected with for a while, but there's still more healing to be done. And I feel like there's something that you, it's like, it doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but it's definitely something connected to like your dark side. Um, you know, things that you may try to keep hidden, right? Yeah, stepping out of your comfort zone, showing up here. It's like, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of be, bring this out into the light, all right? Clarify the past, whoa, whoa, whoa. And see, so don't let your past hold you back. It's showing up here. Um, your dreams need a, pr a practical plan. And I feel like, okay, look, self notice showing up here. Don't let your past hold you back. Um, you may have felt like you may have not had a plan before. You may have not had a solid plan or it's like you're needing to go back. You may have had like a emotional kind of plan. This is that Taurian energy, earth energy. So you need to kind of get practical making. Um, and that's why y'all, I was so moved to definitely give y'all the practical steps on how to make next year your new, your best year. Um, so definitely check out that reading if you're, or that video, if you're interested in it, you guys. Um, but yeah, there's something, it's like you may even be trying to like go off of past results and stuff too. Yeah, you may have tried something in the past. It didn't necessarily go the way that you wanted it to go or there could be some disappointment around it. But don't allow what happened in the past to dictate your future. Like that that doesn't dictate any, that has nothing to do with anything. What, what it may have definitely done was get you to think in a different way to get you to, um, you know, access different parts of your mind, your psyche, your spirit that you may not have been aware of. But here's that energy, full moon and Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So that's why I'm saying wherever you may have been feeling like this past year has been tough, it's approaching its um, conclusion. And I feel like you're going out with a bang. I don't know why I'm feeling, because that fiery energy Clarify shadow work for cancer. Clarify shadow work for cancer. Emotions are running high. So yeah, it's time to release negativity. I feel like honestly, cancer, um, it kind of came out in the week ahead reading that I did for you. There could there could definitely be, what is it? Um, like high string energy just emotions are definitely high okay that fiery energy climax i feel like things could be kind of coming to a head there could be heated arguments that happen but i feel like um all in all it's to bring about healing it's time to really release that negativity any negativity that you're holding on um is stunting you cancer or it's gonna stay it's gonna be in the way of your your prosperity going forward. So you really, it's time to release it. This full moon and Scorpio energy too, it's Scorpio water, water sign. So definitely, and Scorpio kind of um, deals with the things that are taboo, hidden. So definitely like things in the dark, y'all. I feel like definitely there are things, emotions that you may have, you may not even realize that you have. It's time for those to kind of, they're going to make us like, they come in front and center stage. You're going to have, and you're going to be dealing with it. I feel like you are going to have to be kind of, um, yeah, look, adjustments are required. You are going to have to kind of adjust, okay, to um, how these emotions are trying to get you to kind of move forward. This is the shadow work that's um, 
I would definitely suggest maybe journaling, you know, to close out the close out the week or close. I mean, well, yeah, we close out the week. You're closing out the year, but definitely it's like getting those emotions out. All right. Because those emotions is like finally getting it out. Um, finally getting it out is going to be so healing, so beneficial for you, Cancer. So look at the bigger picture trying to slide out here. This full moon in Sagittarius, um, fiery energy. And I feel like you may be missing the bigger picture in this uncertainty. It's like you may be focusing on one aspect that you don't know all about. And because you don't know that one little aspect of something, you it got you questioning the whole thing. But Spirit is saying embrace it, okay? Um... And here it is showing up again. Um, a personal issue reaches resolution. Here is the full moon in Cancer. So yeah, there's a personal issue that I feel like you've been dealing with. This could have been with another person. Um, but it's time for that to be cleared up so that you can move into the new year free from that and ready, like ready to um accept your prosperity. Okay, ready to um live the life that you desire. Yeah, and see, bring love into the situation. Can't say nobody loves like you. I do feel like this personal issue could be personal with another person, okay? And you're going to have to bring love into the situation like only you can. Even though this is new moon in Aquarius energy, I feel like Cancer, you need the love on um, this person like only a Cancer can. It's like, um, and you know, Cancer, our hearts get touched in a different kind of way. This this time may be very, very difficult for other people, other signs, you know, because they're not used to facing their emotions and you're really going to have to. They're going to be like, nan, nan, a boo, boo, all in your face. Like, you ain't going to have no choice but to. Um, but Cancer, you're not new to this. You're true to this. You know how to transmute your emotions. You know how to, you know how to um, heal yourself out of the situation. And then I feel like because cancer, I'm not saying that we the best sign, but I'm just saying that we the best sign because that because you're able to bring love into the situation like that. I can see you being a source of healing for relationships in your life, other people, other other situations. This is really, really, this is, uh, yeah, we're ending the year with a bang like cancer. The moon is in our, the moon is full, it's in our sign and it's the last full moon in the year. So yeah. Uh, let's actually, you know, we talk about full moons. It's a time of surrendering. It's a time of out with the old, in with the new. We're on the prefaces of a new year. So let's pull some surrender cards. Let's see what messages Spirit has around surrendering for Cancer. What does Cancer need to surrender? Focus on surrendering during this full moon, Spirit. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. So you're going to have, you may have to love someone from a distance or just accept that they are, you know, your mothering, your nurturing may try and be, may be trying to like fix the situation, but <clears throat> see, yeah, surrender the drama. It could definitely be drama, dramatics. Okay. It could definitely be dramatics in the situation, Cancer, but this is time, it's time to put all of that to an end, to a close as you get ready to start this new year. It says it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. It's like cancer. Yeah, you may definitely resonate with being a healer. And you have all this healing energy just oozing out of you. But you can only worry about, I mean, you can only control your healing. Okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's great to share that energy with another person. But you can't force someone to um, in their healing. Everyone hasn't done their shadow work everyone isn't ready to face their dark night their shadow work so yeah that may be the situation from you and you know this could be a person in your past and it's like this person because you have done the work because you are um able to address this you know some of these things and be a better person you know you're able to move forward. That's going to afford you access to different levels. Don't allow just being, just because you love someone, just, and I ain't even trying to say it like that, just because you, you know, everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody can't go. And I do feel like it could cause some tension or just emotions in the, in the midst of this. Like, yeah. What does Cancer need to focus on surrendering this full moon and Cancer? Oh, 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 oh. Surrender to joy. 
I feel like this is definitely the energy coming into 2024, okay? A key positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it, all right? That was the message in the week ahead. Savor your life. Savor, savor the good moments. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. All right. Surrender to your soul's path is showing up here too. Um, the 2024 reading that I um, did for us, Cancer, definitely speaks of you kind of like living out your soul's path, um, moving more so on your life's journey. So, and, and finding the joy in the journey. Okay. I know you may feel like you have a destination, but there's, there's joy in the journey. All right. Surrender to complete healing. Want to just show itself right there. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So definitely be open to complete healing, all right? Like, it's like healing for real, like the real deal. This ain't just no Band-Aid fix. This is this is deep-rooted healing. Like, we're getting to the source of the thing. You hear me? Okay. One more, I think, for Cancer. What should we focus on surrendering during this full moon spirit? Oh, oh, surrender to trust, all right? Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. See, um, definitely, like I said, in your past could be trying to tell you that the direction that you're going is like the wrong way. I wish I could show y'all this card. And I had actually just, um, it was in the deck that I used for the week ahead reading for cancer. And it's basically, it was, no, y'all, because I got to show it to you because I got to show it to you. Hold on. Um, and it's like, look, now that you've gotten, <clears throat> now that you've gotten your truth, it's like, you know, other people may not, other people are still trying to figure out their truth and they could be trying to like project onto you or, um, you know, think that you're trying to tell you that you're going the wrong way. And it could definitely, when you're choosing your path, it could definitely feel lonely, Cancer, okay? You're going to be looking like, y'all, I got to show you this because definitely I had got this message before I had started that reading. And now it's coming back to my remembrance for I know a reason, okay? But like... Now, if I hadn't said, no, because it's going to bother. Okay, there you go. Discovering truth right here. So you stand in the light of truth. It's like, look, these people over here, there, there was a crossroads, right? It's like, look, there, there's some confusion there. Like you got to communicate about where they're going. There's some uncertainty, but this person, they're going the exact opposite direction with a smile on. Like, I'm not worried. I know that I'm going the right way. I've discovered my truth. I stand in my light of truth. Um, I trust myself, you know, I trust myself beyond, I trust my intuition beyond anything that anyone can say to me. Okay. Cause People could be triggered by the fact that you're healing, okay? And they're not trying to they're not trying to heal, okay? Trust yourself in your decisions, though, Cancer, because you are on the right path. And I feel like that's what the magic of this new this full moon is trying to let you know that you are good enough. You are on the right path. Don't allow things to hold you back. Don't allow the past to hold you back. And embrace the mystery of what's to come because I feel like there is really, really um exciting things for you. Um I think I'm going to leave the reading here, you guys. I really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would love to have you a part of the Vibe Tribe. Talk to me down in the comments, but do be aware of the scammers, okay? They be out here. It's the holiday season. Just be watchful, okay? Um, check out the description box below for all the important information that you may want to know. In the meantime, in between time until next time, I love you.